or tonight. Before that, Jesse Clegg, let it burn as we go 20 minutes before 11 o'clock right here on Good Hope FM. Now, as the restrictions that were imposed by COVID-19 begin to lift, we're now taking those first steps into a world that will be very different from the one that we knew pre-COVID-19. But one thing's for sure, digital apps have become central in this rapid shift, mostly because they brought us accessibility, they brought us convenience and simplicity uh, to the lives of consumers. Uh, But as we enter this new world of work, this new normal, how will it affect the way that we work both now and the future? Here to answer some of these daunting questions is director of a company called Hey Jude, the world's first human-powered digital assistance service. Adrian Zanetti, welcome to Get Up FM. Hey, Leanne, how are you doing? I am fantastic. How are you doing? Good. Well, as good as most (laughs) of South Africa. I know, under the circumstances, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we should be lucky. There are more, a lot of people worse off than we are today. Yeah, absolutely. Adrian, just give us some context. Tell us more about Hey Jude and what you do. Well, then Hey Jude is a, is a platform that was, was built to combine the best of uh, a digital assistant and AI. So things like Siri you would use on your Apple phone or Google Assistant internationally or an Amazon Alexa unit. And um, we looked at it and said, you know, the world is connected and those devices are fantastic. But they do lack the um, the human in the loop, and, yeah. and really, that the human that can get things done, that can emph- uh, uh, empathise with you, that that can listen to your task and, and solve things. So it's really a platform we we put out to the public. We also very much entrench it in corporates, and, and corporates gives this platform to their employees. And and I guess you know that's really we. Where we, from the COVID perspective, said, you know, the, the world's gone home, but we, mm. we, we don't understand the psychological and the pressures families have working at home and getting things done. So, you know, in, in, in the short version, it, it takes you to a digital personal assistant that it connects users with suppliers and, and products and services, and we facilitate personal requests. So whatever you need done in your life, we get it done for you. Which is quite amazing because I'm sure that this is not something that just started now. It's been around for a while. However, platforms like this needed to gain massive momentum when the pandemic hit and all of a sudden we were social distancing. We were told to stay at home, work from home, move around as little as possible, only get those essential uh, things that we needed. And now this platform is more needed than ever because we still need convenience. We still need to get our hands on certain things, and uh, it's it's really making it a lot easier. How do you see a platform like this uh, playing a major role as we go into the future? Because we don't necessarily know what the future looks like, but we do know that COVID's going to be around for a while. Yeah. Well, I, I think, Leanne, I, I see the platform is e- evolving as we all do, either as employees or, or customers. Um, and, and just some practical example we've seen with some of our corporate clients is, you know, their the employees are stuck at home. Uh, yeah. They don't have time to go out and, and shop or they're just charging out to essentials. People are getting lazy. They're not doing exercise. Yeah. Um, and what we've been tasked to do is really how do we coordinate suppliers and products and services to, to help people with meal planning, for instance, wow. to help people keep you know toddlers busy at home, uh, especially grade R. The, you know, the Minister of Education the other day mentioned that, you know, keeping, keeping these children out of play schools in grade R, which is the formative years, uh, which... You know, you can't get the time back. Um, so, so everything from meal planning to comparative shopping mm-hmm. to getting things delivered that aren't available in the ma- mainstream with some of the big online retailers. So I think these, these platforms of people helping people and, and technology becoming augmented to make humans better yeah. is, is where these platforms are going to go. Yeah, and this is the future, you know, and we need to start embracing and migrating to uh, these emerging technologies for any business or individual who wants to find out more about you and how they can position themselves to better navigate these uncharted post-COVID-19 waters. How can they make contact with you, Adrian? So uh, all our contact details are available on our website, heyjudeapp.com, or you can download the app on the Play Store or through the App Store. And uh, there are a few free trials. So, 
you're able to test and use it and, and either gauge it if it's something for your business or, or something for yourself. And for anybody listening right now who just needs a little bit of motivation, you know, we're all trying to to kind of navigate um, something that we've never experienced before uh, digitally as well. What would your words of advice be to them? Uh, I think keep looking. You know, the, world is, the world's been in a worse position. Um, I was reminded by my mother that my great-grandmother had the Spanish flu and lived. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Um, <laughs> I think... I think uh, I think South Africans are resilient, and the world and we'll we'll come through this. There will be a cure, yeah. and um, we'll reinvent our work. We'll reinvent our social spaces, and it does sound cheesy, but you know it is what it is, and and humans will adapt. Exactly, that's what we've done, and that's what we will continue to do. Adrian Zanetti, thank you so much for joining me today on the radio. Thanks for having me. There we go. Adrian Zanetti, who is uh, the director of a company called Hey Jude, the world's first human-powered digital assistance service. Uh, they use clever tech, and it's backed up by smart people and delivered through a very cool app to make life a whole lot easier. Companies give Hey Jude to their customers and employees to help them save time, help them save money, and to sort out their day-to-day needs. You can check them out. Hey Jude. So we're halfway through the year and things didn't work out exactly as we planned. Our finances are stretched. Our finances are stretched. Our